Before anybody gets upset, let me make it very clear that this video has nothing to do with politics or where you stand, whatever side you're on with the political world or where things are at with COVID or anything like that. No, it is strictly facts and our show and how they kind of don't work together anymore. And I'll talk about it right now. weeks ago, maybe about a month ago at this point, things started to kind of open back up. Game hunting, toy collecting is kind of alive again. You're allowed to do it again and go out and do so. And it's fun to an extent. A good example is a few weeks ago, Ricky and I were able to go to a swap meet, open air, open fun, open environment. Uh, it wasn't very close to us. So that's part of what I'm talking about right here is it's not really close to us. We had to drive a distance. It's kind of a place we can't really go to often because it takes up too much time uh, of our day. We have other things going on as well. Um, but we gotta like live in our element. We gotta live in our old school style, the way we are, the way we've always been, the NES pursuit. Goofy, wild, loud, silly. If you've been watching for any amount of time at all, you are probably one of the people in the comments or just observing that we're loud, we're goofy, we interact with people, we hug on people, we touch everything, we, we touch each other's skin for goodness sake and call each other soft skin or not. Um, that's just how we are. So with this swap meet being open, but so far away and pretty much our only option to kind of do it the way we like, we can't really do so very often. So the point of this video is me talking about 95% of what's allowed in the game hunting and toy hunting world. And I wanna make it very clear, again, this isn't political. This is me saying this is the rules. Fact, you can't argue. The rules are this right now, wherever we go. For a lot of stores, pretty much every store now, with the rules now, again, the rules change every other day, so it's hard to know what we can and can't do. 95% of the stores, uh, toy stores, retro stores, anywhere we can really go in nostalgia hunt, there's a lot of rules in place. Now, no matter what you believe politically, that's what the rules are. You, most of the time, will have to go wait in the line just to get in. Once you do so, wear the mask, socially distance, and heck, there's even place markers on a lot of places is where you're allowed to stand and hunt. Again, that's the rules. Don't, don't let your politics get into this. That's the rules. But with those rules in play, whether you believe them or like them or not, that's just what we're dealt right now at the moment. And for our show, I know we've been getting people saying, why don't you guys go game hunt? These places are open, these are available. We'd be faking content for you guys and faking enjoyment if we did so. Because on a personal level, those rules, whether you believe them or not, don't lend to our show and who we are. If you've watched us ever go to a convention, a game hunting store, uh, a swap meet, a flea market. We're running around, we're goofy, we're silly. And what's really important to know about our show, and I can't stress this enough, is that the thrill of the hunt, looking for games, has always outweighed the actual finds. And that's how it's always been for me. I could find the greatest find in the world, and that's awesome. But I would much rather experience the fun that entails finding things, goofing around, interacting with humans. That's how I've been my entire life. I'm an extrovert, I'm loud, I love on people. That's who I am. So again, not saying that the rules are bogus or fake or whatever I believe, you don't need to know. Just for the rest of the world, we don't need to know everyone's opinion. Shocking, isn't it? We don't need everyone's opinion in the world. You don't need any mine, I don't need yours. How about we all just love on each other? Anybody ever thought of that in the year 2020? Who would have thunk, huh? You just love everybody, huh? Who would have thought? But with that, that's the rules, and I don't wanna fake any sort of content for you guys because even if we did go to these stores, wait in the lines, wear the mask, follow the rules, do this and that, cool, and we walk out with something awesome, and I know there's a large part of you and a large part of the audience that would be really stoked on that, and I understand that. There's tons of shows that are still out there doing their thing, doing what they're supposed to be doing, following the rules, and finding stuff that's really awesome. I see it all the time, and I know people love them. 
But for me, I don't do YouTube as a career. I have a fantastic, wonderful, outstanding job. So does Ricky, so does Gabo, so does all of us. We're very thankful and very blessed that we don't have to fake any sort of content or have to push out any sort of content. So if I'm not enjoying the experience, I know a lot of you would enjoy it if we got something good or did some offer up thing or eBay buying or whatnot, but me on a personal level, my personal convictions are if I'm not enjoying making the YouTube videos, I then have lost the whole reason I started doing game hunting and nostalgia stuff on YouTube. Yes, I've done other stuff on YouTube that was business, started up for the purposes of businesses and finances in general, but not with my nostalgia stuff, not with my retro collecting, toy hunting, game hunting, all of this is done in the name of passion and the love for this, for the community. And I know that if I don't stay true to what I enjoy, then in return, I feel like I'm doing a disservice to you guys, even though you might not care or you might say, hey, we don't even didn't even notice that you weren't having that much fun. But for me, I wanna make sure I'm enjoying what I do. So right now, with the current state the world is in, 95% of our options, at least in our area, are set up in a way to where might be good or bad, depending on what you believe politically. But regardless, regardless of what I believe either way as well, I don't personally enjoy that as far as my hobby goes. As far as my hobby goes, it's, it's my hobby. It's not something I have to do. It's a hobby because I have to enjoy it, have to, I like have certain like check marks of things that I literally personally feel each time I go game hunting. And a lot of those feelings would be gone if I went out in the current situations with wearing a mask for me personally, not saying it's good or bad. I'm saying for me, when it comes to game hunting and my hobby, I gotta smile, I gotta laugh, I gotta interact with people. I need to see their face expressions. I need them to see mine. That's just how I thrive in the world of game hunting. Same with, you know, waiting lines. That's fine necessarily, but a lot of places have like markers of where you can stand and when you can stand and how close you can get to resellers. Again, whatever you believe, that's what you believe. And that's totally fine. But for me in the game hunting world, when it's my hobby, it takes away my fun and enjoyment of being super ADD. Oh, look over there, Ricky. Gabo, look at that. Mikey, look at that. Complex, look at that. Mort, look at that. You go there. I go here. Let's go crazy. Let's have fun. Oh, this guy's awesome. I love this reseller. Give him a hug. Oh, here's a cool guy that watches the show. We're so thankful. That's who we are. So in the current state, I just wanted to let everybody know because a lot of people are saying, hey, why don't you guys just go game hunting at a lot of these places that do allow it? And I just wanted to make it clear why we're not because we don't wanna force any sort of content uh, just for the sake of forcing content. And again, I wanna say whatever you believe or feel to be true in the current state of COVID and the rules and the masks and the social distancing, hey, that's for, that's for you to make that call. You believe what you wanna believe, we'll believe what we wanna believe. What I truthfully believe is stay the heck away from social media. Let me tell you that. I got one more moment of praise for myself. January 4th is four years of no social media. YouTube is my only form of social media. Let me let everybody know that, by the way. But otherwise, yeah, I don't have anything else and it's, uh, it's great. And I just choose to love on everyone and I encourage all of you to do the same. Have fun hunting, toy hunting, collecting, however you do it. If you love the offer up deals and you wanna know what you're gonna get, awesome. If you're willing to wait in the lines and, and do whatever you're supposed to do to go in these stores, go for it, that's awesome. And if you wanna wait till it's over because you don't necessarily enjoy that style of game hunting or toy hunting, then, then wait, like I'm gonna kinda do. And hopefully we can bounce around to some of these places that uh, allow us to do it in a way that um, they feel comfortable. Um, we want to make sure everybody feels comfortable with what's going on. That's one thing too. We want to respect others in the process of doing what we're doing. So we're going to wait. We're on the brakes for now. Is that brakes? No, that's go. I don't know what brakes is on a motorcycle. <sighs> World's a weird place. Do me a favor. Have a good day. That's all I ask. Have a good day. Be cool with everyone. Be kind to everyone and uh, spread some love on the internet. We need more of it. We need some more love in the world. All right, you guys, hope you enjoy uh, collecting and toy hunting when that time comes. And if uh, that time is right now for you, I hope you're enjoying it. All right, have a good one. Adios.